Hello and thanks for joining me. I'm Matthew Rondina with Best Buy Canada's Best Buy blog and today I'm doing an overview of the Samsung 990 Pro PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD. Just a friendly reminder that you can order the 990 Pro today via bestbuy.ca. If you're considering an upgrade to enhance your PlayStation 5 or PC storage, the Samsung 990 Pro SSD is an excellent candidate. The latest state-of-the-art drive delivers blazing fast performance. In this review, I'll give an overview of the SSD's features, benefits, and overall performance. I'll also share some installation tips and test it out with the PS5. Let's kick things off by taking a look at the 990 Pro's very impressive specs. And while we cover them, I'll continue to unbox all the components included in the package. The hardware uses the latest PCIe 4.0 interface and vNAND technology to achieve incredible speeds and overall efficiency. It can reach up to a blistering 7,450 megabytes per second of sequential read speeds, which is more than enough to handle any game or application that you throw at it. In terms of usage with the PS5, this far exceeds the requirements of 5,500 megabytes per second of reading speed outlined by PlayStation, the manufacturer of the console. If you're going with the 990 Pro for the PS5, it's easily a top choice as it's one of the fastest SSDs on the market. In terms of storage and capacity, you've got three different choices with the 990 Pro. It comes in a 1TB, 2TB, and a whopping 4 terabytes so you can choose one that best suits your needs and budget whether you have a ps5 or a pc you can easily install the ssd in the m.2 slot and enjoy the extra storage space and performance boost in this overview i'll be covering the installation process and show you how the ssd performs in various scenarios on the ps5 let's dive in one of the most important aspects of the 990 pro is its thermal control whether you decide to go with the 990 or another drive, keeping it cool while it's operating is absolutely essential. The SSD has two versions, one with a built-in heatsink and one without. A heatsink is a device that helps to dissipate the heat generated by the SSD and prevent it from getting too hot. For the PS5, Sony recommends getting the version with the heatsink as it ensures optimal performance, durability, and the longevity of the SSD. Now the unit that we're looking at right now is the 990 model without the heatsink. This is the one I was provided to test uh, and I'll install it temporarily just to uh, run, go through the motions and show everyone benchmarks and how it performs. Once again though, I highly recommend installing an SSD with a heatsink in your PS5 to avoid any hardware issues or voiding of any warranties on both the SSD and or the console. All right, now uh, with that out of the way, let's get down to installing the 990 Pro in the PS5. The process to install an SSD into your PS5 is pretty straightforward, but I've also created this uh, handy little tutorial that you can follow along with and uh, hopefully it helps to assist you. So let's dive in. So the very first step is to locate a flathead screwdriver and remove the base of your PS5. I've already taken care of this step and now I've just removed the top shell of the PS5 in order to uh, locate the SSD uh, compartment within the console. So I'm just zooming in on it here and there it is right there. It's this gray little uh, area with a black screw. Now we're going to use a trusty Phillips head aka star head screwdriver and just open up that compartment. Make sure to not force uh, trying to open this with the screwdriver because you do not want to strip, strip this screw because it will not, uh, it'll, it won't be easy to get it out and uh, you won't be able to access the, uh, the hatch here. So hopefully you're able to get through this step. We're just going to pop this open now. Uh, it's a little bit finicky, but uh, if you grab on one of these little inner uh, latches or a little sort of... Um, grooves on the side it'll pop right open all right so now that it's opened on up here uh we're we're just about ready to go we first have to unscrew that black screw i just pointed at that's going to actually hold the ssd in place on one end and then the other connection point that connects inside of the console will hold it on the other so uh again i was just showing you there i'm using a number zero phillips head screwdriver don't use an oversized screwdriver to again try to get this out you do not want to strip that screw 
uh, it'd be really tough to get out. So even towards the end here, I'm just going in manually with my fingers to, to get it on out. And there we go. It's just about showtime for the uh, 990 Pro. So I'm just going to put all my screws off to the side here. Just be really careful again as you're moving the screws. Don't try to store them anywhere on top of the console because if they fall into any of those vents or fan grills, uh, it's going to be really tough to get uh, get that back without damaging any components. So all the screws are down off to the side here, safe and sound. And uh, now it's just about showtime for the 990 Pro. As you can see here, I have the SSD ready to go. Uh, the angle of approach is all about uh, the way to do this properly. So as you can see here, I'm not trying to put it flush with the inside uh, surface. I'm coming in at a slight angle and it's even going to uh, sort of rest at an angle until I screw it down with the screw that I previously just removed. So as you can see, I'm just trying to adjust that washer. And again, I've pre-measured so I know where the very top of my SSD will come. And back uh, with that smaller screw, I'm just going to very gently push this down. Again, with this process, it's all about gentle finesse. Don't force any of the components because that could spell uh, disaster. So just be really careful um, as I went in here. Even as I was uh, putting in the SSD at that angle, I just was very gently moving it back and forth, bringing it into the cradle, and now just screwing it down. And remember, it's essential not to over-tighten the screw in this process just in case maybe it's not seated properly and when you go to boot your PS5, something's not working. So... Thumbs up for now, but the uh, the ultimate test comes when we're booting up the PS5. Now we've got to put it all back together, so I'm just going to flip the PS5 around just so it's a little bit closer to me and easier to access. Again, moving the screws across the top of all those open grills, a little bit nerve-wracking. So uh, with this flip back around, I'm just going to start reattaching all the components, and uh, I'll take you through that now step by step. So now I'm going to be returning this uh, panel onto uh, the area right here so it's nice and covered. Uh, I really should have a heat sink on this SSD. I'm going to go and purchase one from a third party after this process. But uh, for now, let's just give it a shot. Give it a short-term test. I'm going back using my uh, P1 Phillips head size screwdriver. Not over-tightening once again. We don't want to strip any of these screws. We might need to re-access uh, and just make our lives so much easier. So make sure it's snug and secure, but don't over-tighten. And uh, now that that is all done, we're ready to put the shells back on the PS5. Now here I make it look easy just because I'm trying to film with one hand and put this back on with the other. But uh, once it's back uh, seated in the proper spot, uh, you should pick it up at this point and just shift it forward until you hear a click and then you'll know everything's seated properly. Uh, now that we have the PS5 uh, all back together again, now let's turn it back on for the moment of truth. So here we go. I'm going to power up my PS5. I decided to darken the room a little bit, not for dramatic effect, but it uh, does look pretty cool with all the uh, LEDs going off, but uh, not for dr dramatic effect, just to reduce a little bit of glare off of my TV screen. So uh, here we go, PS5 powering back on. And now here is uh, the thing we want to see. Uh, so it says to use your uh, M.2 SSD, you need to format it. So we're just going to jump on down and choose the uh, right hand side where it says format M.2 SSD. And uh, once we format that drive, it's probably just going to take a, a few minutes. Uh, it'll also give you the first uh, read write speed, sort of uh, the PS5's internal way of testing the speed of the uh, actual unit. So here we go, using the D-pad to select the format uh, M.2 SSD by pressing X. And now that's complete, you get a uh, you get your read speed right there, and then you're all good to go. Your M.2 SSD storage, whether it's the Samsung 990 Pro or uh, another model, another compatible model uh, for the PS5, uh, you are all set. And now your PS5 should boot into its regular process, regular startup process. I'm just gonna have to enter my uh, pin code here. And now I'm set to game. Uh, just before I do that, though, I want to go into my settings and store, go to storage. And just double check. Uh, I can see there the uh, console storage is now up to that whopping uh, 4.2 terabytes. 
and then if I go underneath here we can see right at the top here it'll give you the even right down to the name of the actual drive it says Samsung SSD 990 Pro 4 terabytes uh, so that's exactly what I installed and uh, all set and good to go I'm Matthew Rondina with Best Buy Canada's Best Buy blog. I hope this overview helped you out along with a little bit of uh, installation tips. For the 990 Pro or any of your storage or gaming needs, everything's available now on bestbuy.ca. Thank you so much for watching. Game on.